Hi, I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies, and today we're going to test out the Fivix NX limbs. Now, it's been very hard to source Fivix limbs for stock shortages, China, all that sort of stuff. Now, I've been shooting these limbs, these are Fivix Titan EX limbs, for probably six months, and I found them totally great. No issues with them at all, and I've shot really well with them, which is why I've stuck with them. But I want to go up in poundage. And why I want to go up in poundage is because I've been coping okay with 51 pounds on my fingers and I want to go up in strength to hopefully get a cleaner release. So hard to source these, so I've sourced a set of these NXs. Now, I've done a bit of research before doing this review and the stats say they're the same. So although this one is more expensive, so they're my question is well, what's the difference because the Titan NX limb is more expensive than sorry the Titan NX limb is more expensive than the Titan NX limb so let's just look at the graphics look, the graphics look nice um, look it's a nice looking limb I have got no issues with the Titan EX limb and I would have been happy to use them. I really wanted the Argon X limb because it's a different material. Although we didn't have any, we do have a wood one, but I would prefer to use the foam rather than the wood, just because I've had success with foam. Um, okay, so these are 48 pound limbs. These are 44 pound limbs. So the Titan EX limbs that I've been shooting are 44 and on my fingers at 29 inches, they are 51 pounds. So we're gonna test what poundage these are on my, on my fingers at 29 inches, and then we're gonna shoot them to see what they feel like. With other limbs I've tested in the past, like from Win and Win, there's been a big difference between the shape of the limb and the speed of the limb. So I'm gonna be interested to see what these feel like. I'm gonna guess they're pretty much the same. I'm just gonna, go, I'm gonna guess they're a little bit, a little bit heavier, so let's test them out. Okay, so right now it's really cold outside, it's rainy, it's windy, and my partner's away. So she's on a cake decorating course and she doesn't watch videos. My videos. So she doesn't know I'm shooting inside my house. Because if she did, I'd get my ass kicked. Um, but she doesn't watch the videos, so she doesn't know what doesn't what she doesn't know won't hurt her. So, and always better to ask for forgiveness than ask for permission. Although I don't say I said that, but one of, my, one of my bosses told me that would work. These are the Titan DX limbs um, I have been using. So they're about a year old and they look great. Still, um, I leave my bow strung all the time outside. I shoot every day, you know, probably 100 hours a day. That being really good. So we're going to try shooting these um, NX limbs inside. Now I've just weighed them at 29 inches and they're 53.8 pounds. So these limbs were 51.8 pounds. So they're about, you know, three pounds heavier. So three pounds heavier than these limbs and they are a four pound heavier limb. So it sounds about right. So um, now the first one, I've just put the bow together the first time the bow normally goes crack. Now, if you're shooting inside your house, make sure there's no one around. There's no one here except for Marla. Um, make sure there's no one around. We've always shot inside our house because we've been, we've had a house of arches. Mum used to shoot inside the house. Um, it's the way, way we, way we were. Uh, so it's just nice and warm in the house. You can put music on, you can put TV on. If I went to the shop, it'd be cold, and my other shop's a bit warmer, but it's still cold and miserable outside. I don't have TV on. I can put a movie on here and just shoot 100 arrow hours, shoot for 100 arrows, and I'll be fine. So, providing I don't put an arrow through the door or the window. If I do that, I figure I'll be in trouble. So. First one, it should make a crack because the limbs sort of settle in. That's interesting. So with the, I would like to see this both through a chronograph. With your Yuka limbs and your Win and Win 
um, MX10 limbs, they pull steady all the way through and they don't tend to peak. The Tundi X limb tended to peak more at the back. And for some reason, it didn't hurt my muscles as much and it gave me a clean release. Now the um, Tundi X limbs are very similar to the Win and Win NSG limb. These limbs feel smoother. It could be all in my head. I'm just saying what it feels like. They feel a lot smoother through the whole draw. They feel like they're building more at the start here. And there's the crack. Now that could be a crack of the window behind the target, but let's hope not. <laughs> I really hope not. Okay, let's, this one should be a little bit quieter. For some reason it always does that, it's like the limbs are just settling in. You can sound, you can feel, you can feel, you can hear that the second one doesn't have that crack. Look, for me, I struggle to feel the difference between a two pound increase in poundage, but I will feel it over time. Um, so when you're jumping up in poundage on recurve, you might get away with four pounds, but chances are this is a four pound increase. Chances are you will, it will hurt you a bit, but then your muscles will build into it. Two pounds isn't too bad. Last time I went from 42 to 44. Um, and really I had no extra pain at all. My body really did not notice it. This should notice a bit, um, but my plan is to build up to it. Um, the limbs I think look great. I obviously just need a blue string on the bow. Um, And when I'm shooting inside like this, and I'm not shooting a target because I'm not scoring. Um, oh no, this is, these are the CA320s, these are barreled, and the other ones were. But these are the new ones I made with spin wings. Now this is their knock, Pandaris knock. Um, so it's very much like an Eastern, an Eastern pin knock. It's like an Avalon pin knock, it's like... I rather like it and it clips on the string nicely and I said to the owner today I really like these pin knocks they're very very nice very small um, color was good I don't know what colors they come in but I ordered a lot of each But what I do, like, for this, I'm just trying to build muscle, so hopefully what I'll do tonight, <laughs> hopefully, uh, besides clean the house and um, do all that sort of stuff, um, <laughs> I'll shoot arrows and put a movie on. But uh, hopefully I'll shoot about 100 arrows tonight. Um, I'll take some magnesium to re for my muscle recovery. Um, and then I'll see how the muscles are tomorrow. Now there's, you're not putting your muscles under as much tension, just blank bailing inside because you're not aiming as hard, your body's not working as hard. But it's a good start to new power, new poundage limbs. And I don't seem to be shaking much, it's it feels pretty good. And when you go glass door behind your target, make sure the arrows are not going through. Because otherwise it will leave a hole in the glass. The glass will actually shatter. <laughs> I'm saying it through experience.
Look, really like these limbs, happy with them. They feel pretty much like the Titan EX limbs. Um, I would like to put them through a chronograph, but I can't do it tonight because it's dark. Um, so I'm pretty happy just to shoot these limbs and see how they feel. Um, now when you look at new limbs, if you're like shooting $200 limbs versus the $1,000 limbs, which these are, there's very little difference. The difference is the quality of the materials they use. Um, the more expensive limb will hopefully be more dependable, uh, less likely to break, less likely to have problems. So they're using higher grade materials, so the limbs are more expensive, the finish is finer. So if you're just a recreational shooter, you're shooting once a week, look, you don't need a thousand dollar limbs. If money's no object to you and you're my lawyer, go for the most expensive limb you can find because you've probably got lots of money. Um, Look, these limbs are thousand dollars. I shoot a lot. I shoot a lot, and this is what I. This is my goal. Um, to build up, my my goal was to build up with recurve to a higher strength, um, to build my body up, um, and hopefully win the championship in the state. Uh, that was my goal. Um, whether I'll achieve it or not, it's another question it gets down to everyone else gets down to your health and lots of factors need to be playing to for that to pan out but that's where I'm up to and yes it's a thousand dollars but you can sell your old limbs off um, and that's what I generally do I sell my old limbs off so I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies thanks for watching that's the Titan NX limbs really big fans now Fivix do have some limbs in stock and we have, we have more limbs in stock than Fivix, I think. We have more variety of stock in limbs than Fivix have in stock. Because uh, <laughs> um, literally I went through their range and I ordered everything that they had in stock. Um, but there's like, if you order, like let's say I wanted Argon limbs, because I wanted Argon limbs 68 inches, 48 pounds, 50 pounds, 46 pounds, 44 pounds, they have none. They've had none for six months. Um, it may be longer. So, you know, but you might be able to get like the wood, which I do have a wood carbon argon X limb in stock because that's all they had. So, you know, they'll be able to hopefully fit in a, fit in a limb to you. I'm going to say win and win, probably have more limbs in stock. I don't know if this will get better with time. Uh, Fivix used to be pretty good and I know COVID made it hard for everyone to source carbon and source materials and factory close downs and all that sort of stuff. Um, but I'm going to say Fivix overall the products are really dependable. Touch wood, I've been selling Fivix for three years I think and I've had no warranty, no warranty items yet. Um, touch wood. But it's pretty amazing. Now I'm going to say on my Titan EX, one of these came off. Um, inside it, there's a little spring, a little, little button. Look, if they pop off, just lock tight it back on with, um, I use thread locker, lock tight, um, to put it back on. Just bear in mind, these can come loose on any limb. So this little bolt, which has got the spring inside. You can shoot the bow, bow without the spring inside. I shot the bow for about two months without the spring inside. It's very unlikely any shop's going to have the spare parts in stock. So all it does is clip the limb in for when you're fitting the limb. These limbs cannot come out without the spring thing because they're pushing together with the string. So just bear that in mind. Anyway, I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies. So I hope that's been helpful. Thanks for watching.